I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Dan's Fishing Tales. Today Pepper and I'm out here fishing and just more or less seeing what we can do so far. I've been uh, hitting them on this natural forage bait swim bait and I got one so far and uh, the other day I was out fishing did pretty good then too. So we're going to see if we can catch a few more and uh, maybe we may go with something different. I don't know. We're just out here having fun and doing some fishing. That's all. And Pepper, he's running around over here. You'll probably see him sooner or later. And uh, he, he's waiting for me to catch fish. So let's go fishing. I like using these long rods, uh, especially on shore fishing like this. They, they come in real, real handy. I can reach a lot of areas, weed islands that are way out, uh, anything like that. Uh, and you've got a lot of playing uh, on the fish with them too. Actually, this is a steelhead rod. Oop, one hit right there. Like I said, there's a lot of weed islands, and that's what I'm fishing are these weed islands. There's one right there. There we got one. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. Hey, like I said, good fish. Uh, he threw the. I'm gonna have to get myself another swim bait. He took that out. What you think of that, Pepper? Hmm? What you think of that? Yeah. Look at here. See the fish? Yeah. 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 You're gonna tell them all about it, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Yeah. There we go. Like I said, I'm gonna have to. I'm using a B fishing. Uh, Precision jig head too. It's an H2O, and uh, that has worked real, real well for that. And like I said, got another nice, so about 18 inch bass. So uh, that's a good start. Let's, shall we get another bait, Pepper? I think so. And while we're at it, but you can't really see Pepper down here. Come here, Pep. Come here. Come on. We're going to introduce Pepper. There he is. That's Pepper. He's my fishing buddy. And uh, he's just not too sure about all this, is it? No, you want to catch more fish, don't you? Well, Pepper and I, we're going to try to catch some more fish. How about that? Hmm? Yeah. We're going to get one of those natural forage bait swim baits, put some kicking bass on it and go at it again. I'm going to show you how I uh, rig this. I do it so that it's straight. I mean, you want it like this. You don't want it all cockeyed and that sort of thing. Another head that I use is the uh, Roadrunner Casey's head. That works real well with a blade when they're hitting it that way, but right now I'm fishing such heavy weeds that once that blade gets in there, it's kind of a mess, but I might be trying it in a little bit. just depends. Like I said, I want to rig it so they're bringing it up just like this. Once it goes around the bend of the hook, show you here, right there. Once it goes around the bend of the hook, you want to bring it out the back. You come out right there and bring it up, put it down so that it's straight. You want it straight, just like that. You don't want it, uh, you know, off so that it's a lumper jaw. Not only that tail don't get as good of action. And then we put some of the kicking bass. Grab some of that right here. It's already got kicking bass in it, by the way, but there's a slot in this bait and that helps hold it. I'm using the Java. The Java works real well. And uh, we'll see what happens here.
as I said, there's a there's a lot of weeds out there, but I'm trying to target the weed islands that I call them. They're the ones that are clumped up like this, and they're all submerged, as you can see. You can't really see them on that water, but uh, that's what I'm looking for. And I may move around some other areas, but there just happens to be one big weed island out over in here, and that's what I'm looking for. And I like to find the the spots in it that are like I guess you'd say look at it just like a real island that you would normally see exposed. You have points, you have uh, drop-offs, little coves, that's what you want to fish and I like to bring it past like from one point to the next and have a cove and that cove a lot of times will hold the fish and it will come on out of there. Uh, like I said just fish them like a, a real land island and uh, just imagine that under the water. one I got. Here we go. Came back around here. Oh, he threw it. We're just not having a bit of luck, are we, Pepper? Oh, gone. Lost that one. Son of a gun. Well, he jumped. Discovered that if I slow down a little, that's what I'm having to do. I'm having to slow my retrieve down. It's pretty fast retrieve reel anyway. It's a Revo STX and it's got a 6.6 .6 to 1 gear ratio. So I want to slow it down just a little. Keep it just to the top of those weeds. And there I'm hitting them right there. I don't want it in the weeds necessarily. Although sometimes when it pops loose, that's when they'll hit it. one right there oh another good one I like what is going on holy cow hmm. does seem like that hooks just a little bit dull I don't know that was a nice fish Here's another one. Let's hope we get this one in, huh? They're jumpers today. You gonna help with this, Pepper? You gonna help with this? There we go. I hate lifting. I hate lifting fish with a line. I really do. But I got such a bank here, I've got to do it. There, what do you think of that, Pep? Got another one, huh? Yeah. Hey, look at there. Yep, got another fish. Yeah, there we go. Well, he's a good 15. Oh, got another one on the natural forage bait swim bait. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since I've been catching them on that, 
Just caught a few fish, lost a few fish as you can see. Uh, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try one I've got here. I'll show you. This is kind of a combination. Shorter rod. Uh, this has got, this is a bucktail, a uh, Roadrunner bucktail in fact. And on it, what I've got is a natural forage bait little killer, or what's left of one, because it took some of it off. And we're going to see how that works. I, I don't know. I mean, we've been catching them on the other, which as you can have been able to see, that's what we've been doing. So uh, we're just going to see how this works and uh, get Pepper interested again. He's sitting over there like, yeah, okay, were you going to catch any other fish? So uh, we'll see how this works. As you can see, I can't make it out quite as far with this rod. This is just a six foot rod. Got the weeds now. There's what I'm after right there. This is what this is what those weed islands are made out of. Is this stuff right here? And uh, that's that's where they're at. They're up in that stuff. They're hanging right in it. Like I said, this is only a six foot rod, so it will not get out there like the other one will. Uh, but I got I don't know what I got here. About a three eighths ounce head on this one. Oh, I'm just losing all sorts of fish. This is getting a little bit embarrassing. By golly, that Roadrunner worked, didn't it? See what else we can lose. Sorry, Pepper. Here's another one. Oh, this is a small one. He hit right up here. Yeah, this is a smaller fish. Like you see, they're in the weeds, and I know one of the things that you're probably thinking is, how do I know the shape of those islands like I was talking about? Two ways. One is, when I'm out in the boat, I take a good look at them and I look at what the depths are off them and that sort of thing. The other is, is look at the wind, the way the wind's blowing and when the wind isn't blowing, you're using the water. You can kind of see that under the water, especially if it's clear, such as here, you can see a difference in color. But when it's windy, you can see a break in certain areas. So you still got about that same shape. So if you're using all of your experience, I guess you'd say, all together and seeing what, what you can put together. I mean, you might not have it exact unless you do get out there with a boat and get right on top of it and take a look. And that's what I do a lot of times. Then when I fish from shore, like with my long rods, like I said, this is an eight and a half foot rod. Uh, I can reach those areas and, uh, and it's not like sitting right on top of them. That's another good thing about a long rod. You're making long casts, you're fishing uh, areas that normally if you were right on top of you might spook those fish out. So we're going to get back out here and we're going to see if we can get some more. And Pepper, he's just plain busy snooping around everything. Got another one. Yeah, we got another one. Oh yeah. Now, you'll notice I'm losing something a little bit different. 
This is one of my favorites that I use, and I'm going to show you, but I got that one. Not real big, about 14 inches, I guess. Yep, yep, here, you want to take a look? Want to take a look? Yeah. See, sniff, sniff, yep, okay, put him in. That's what Pepper likes to do, like sniff at him before I put him in. What this is, he really kind of discobobbled it. Uh, this is a Blitz finesse jig, and this is the peanut butter and jelly one. And I've got a man's auger frog. And that man's auger frog that's, goes back a few years. They don't make them anymore, unfortunately. They're an excellent trailer, and you do it just like I showed you how to do with the swim bait. Bring it around and put it on. There you got the kicking legs on it, and uh, it's uh, it's really a good bait. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you up close. Uh, that's one of my favorites. is a is a Blitz finesse jig, and I thought, heck, I'm going to pull that out, and give it a try while I'm here, and uh, we'll see what else we can do with it. I just caught another fish, small, off camera, and uh, but I wanted to take the chance here to talk to you a little bit more about this finesse jig. This is pepper size. Pepper, look at here. Here, you don't care. You're eating grass. Stop that. Anyway, this jig is an eighth ounce jig. And so, yeah, you can have problems casting it with a regular casting outfit. This is an ultralight casting rod, and those are kind of hard to find. It's a Shakespeare agility, and it, it has worked real well. And it's a lot of fun when you get a fish with one of these because you really got, I mean, take a look at that tip. You got some flex, so if you want a lot of fun fishing, and, and it's the best way actually to fish these if you're not using a spinning outfit. Now, spinning works well too, but uh, that time, uh, fish kind of got my trailer I'm gonna have to get another trailer and put that on so but I did want to talk to you about that and tell you this is an eighth ounce jig and uh, yeah spinning outfit does it works very very well with it I just happen to kind of like the casting with it because I like the the hook setting ability more so on a casting than on a spinning but uh, I will use it on a spinning outfit so I'm gonna grab another one of those and then get back out here and uh, do some more fishing Got another one here. Oh, not real big. No. But uh, I switched lures again, believe it or not. Um, yeah. He would have might be a keeper in a tournament. Yeah, I see. I see. There he is. There he is. Yeah, like I said, I switched lures again. And this is another blitz jig, but the big version of the blitz jig, of the spider jig. And I have got a natural forage bait, uh, mad craw, they call it. And uh, this has been a very, very good combination. And why I went to this is because I was getting them on that finesse jig, and I wanted to get out a little bit further. And I put it on this other long rod I got, and I am getting out there further and just dropping it off those weed islands and pulling it up. So we're going to see if I can catch a few more on this. Uh, just been catching them on a variety, haven't I? Uh, it's just one of those days. They stop, they go, the whatever. I'm sure that that swim bait, they'd be hitting that all the time. I just want to do more experimenting. I want to see what else we can get here. And, uh, and so far, everything I've been doing has been working pretty good. Got another one here. Another one on the jig. The blitz jig. Oh, not a bad fish. Look at that one, Pepper. Yeah. Thanks, Pepper. Eh, not as big as the others. Another one, anyway, on the blitz jig. Uh, and the uh, mad craw. The natural forage bait, mad craw, and blitz jig combination. Uh, not a real big one, but Pepper's happy, aren't you? Yeah. Pepper says, yeah, put him back. There he goes. I'm slowing down my retrieve with this, like I was doing with the other one. I slowed it down. But what I'm doing now is I'm just hopping it. Rather than swimming it, I'm kind of hopping it along, and if I hit that, that those weeds, it seems like if I pop it loose, 
that's when I'm getting some strikes. I'm not catching all the fish, but got a couple so far with it. And uh, there should be some big ones. I lost one too that wasn't on camera. Another one. Seems like I've been doing that all day. I've got another one on another another lure, and one I was talking about. I'll be showing you. I hope decent fish too. Oh, we got a real good one here, I think. Oh yeah. Fish didn't want to cooperate. He didn't want to be on camera. Okay. Oh, he threw it right there. Now that's a decent fish. And I'll talk to you about what I was using here. It's one that I was talking about earlier. And huh? I knew it'd work. Pepper, he's all excited about it. He's happy. Um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> you should see his face. Yeah, here. You want to see it? Okay, good. There. That's a decent fish. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we're going to take a, a quick still of it. And uh, then I'm going to start and talk like about this. Like I said, this. I took a quick still, I'm going to release him, and then I'm going to talk about the lure. You know, working for magazines, you got to do that bit of taking some pictures. Magazines and newspapers. Anyway, what this is, is earlier I told you about the Casey's runner head. And I started thinking, well, you know, they are hitting on that swim bait. The Casey's runner head is a great head to use with a swim bait like this, especially this size of one. This is a four inch. And I'll show you up close. It's got a good sharp hook. It's uh, got the willow leaf on a ball bearing swivel. That thing helped win a, a Bassmasters Classic, in fact. Uh, and I'm using the same swim bait I did, but I just went to that head. And man, I mean that thing nailed it right off the bat. So. I'm going to try it some more because I know they're hitting on the swim baits and I just had a feeling that maybe this Casey's head had produced something. That fish, by the way, I measured it. It was, you know, nothing huge. Uh, 17 inch, 17 and a half inch, really. So that was a decent fish. I mean, I've been happy in a tournament and also any other time and it makes a good photo. And that's what I need for this sort of stuff. And uh, let's cast her out there and see what else we can do. Got another one here. Again, and we got it on that uh, Roadrunner. I switched over to the Roadrunner again and got another one on that. Get hooked. He took it. Not deep, just bad spot. You can always get him in the hard part of the mile. And there we go. Decent fish, another one. And uh, here, we're going to take another picture with that. So, hang on here. We'll uh, get this one back in the water. Another, another nice fish, actually. That's a uh, oh, good, good 18 inch because it goes clear up that handle and past the reel. Again, we got him on this Casey's head with the natural forage bait uh, uh, swimming swim bait and got a kind of getting torn up a little bit but what I do with these two is instead of just uh, uh, well when they get this chewed up I'll take maybe this much off right in here and then just thread it on like that and it, it'll still keep working just fine especially on these uh, Casey's heads and we'll see if we can pop up with another one or two on here Another one 
on the Casey's head. Yep. Another Casey's head fish. They're all taking it about the same too, right down in here. Yeah, well that's right, Pepper. Yep, Pepper's gonna talk about it. Uh -huh. Yeah, we know. Get the pliers, right, Pepper? There we go. Another fish. Another one on that Casey's head with that natural forage bait swim bait. Got him, Pepper. So that one's actually doing about as good as any of them. Like I said, it's up. And you always want, especially on this swim bait, on this uh, uh, Casey's head, you want to make sure that that bait is straight with it. That is really very, very important for one thing is because of the blade coming back like this. We're going to try to get some more out there. This thing's working pretty good. Here's one. Pretty good fish. Okay. Good day, Wee! There we go. There we go. Yep. Gotta get the hook out of him that way. Yep. Another one. And again, on that Casey's head with that uh, swim bait. It seems like that thing's, I mean, we've caught him on a variety of baits, but that one's really been cooking good. we we'll get him unhooked, and uh, then we're going to put him back in, and I don't know, it's getting time. Just not too sure if we're going to wrap up yet or not. We just might. There's another one. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Another one on the cases. See that, that cases head, they're already going for that with that that swim bait body. <laughs> that thing's the thing. You wanna see him, don't you, Pepper? You wanna see him released, huh? You wanna see him released? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Pepper got the fish released. There's another one. I've been slowing my retrieve way down. Oh, well, lost another one. That's been the story of the day. So that's how they've been hitting. I've been slowing down much. It's, it, the wind's picked up just a little bit. 
actually more than it was and it's just like it's changed things so that I gotta go just a little bit slower especially with this thing You notice I set the hook, looks like fairly hard. Well, I've got a lot of line out there, and this is also a long rod. So you got to make sure the hook sets there. As you can see, you can lose them like I have. That one we got in. They're hitting that uh, swim bait way out. There's no no close hits at all to this. Name of the game today. Burger fish and losing. Well, at least, as Keith Lund always said, got the fun out of him, got the seam, and got the fight too. And that's the that's the pleasure of it. Not the way to land a fish, but what are you going to do here, huh? Another one. Keeping that rod tip down and going really slow seems to be the trick. I mean, it, things have changed. I hooked this one way out there. Oh, and he got off. Another one gone. We're doing a pretty bad job today, aren't we, Pepper? Fish hooking school we are not today, that's for sure. Well, as you can see, Pepper and I, we've been catching fish on a variety of baits. Uh, had a lot of fun. Pepper got out. Uh, we, uh, we didn't do too badly. Uh, lost a few, too, as you could well see. So until next time, get out on the water and enjoy a great day of fishing. We're going to go home? Yeah. Pepper's ready to go.